When I sat at my kitchen table and wrote Ryan's Law, I never really was thinking beyond getting it passed here in South Carolina. I just thought, you know what? I'm a lawyer, I've got a child with autism, so I understand the problem. I'm a pretty good writer, so I'm gonna put pen to paper and try to do something about this. Ryan's Law provides that insurance companies that are regulated by the state of South Carolina must provide um, coverage for autism treatments that have been prescribed by the child's physician. There's a therapy called applied behavior analysis that's been used with children with autism for decades now, but insurance companies would not cover it at all. Ryan's Law was really born out of this sense that the situation was unfair and we could fix it. We had been able to provide for our son with some tremendous financial sacrifice, but we knew that other people could not possibly afford this. She changed the law here in South Carolina, uh, really through sh sheer force of will, her own personality and her own hard work. Ryan's Law has not only just helped hundreds here in South Carolina, it, it was the, uh, the genesis, if you will, for a national movement. And she championed the cause. Ms. Lloyd travels around the country extensively. She would see autism schools um, around the country that were top-notch, state-of-the-art autism schools, and knowing we didn't have that here in South Carolina. We decided to create something from scratch, and we started working on the Autism Academy of South Carolina. When we first heard that the Autism Academy of South Carolina was going to become in existence, it gave us hope for the first time in a long time that our child would be able to be educated and integrated into uh, a more mainstream type of environment. I have a good education. I was able to go to law school. And to be able to put that to good use and do something good for other people means a lot to me. These families really have become a, a huge community, a large family to her, and I think that just continues to move her forward. There's always gonna be something for Lori to have to get to. There, she's always gonna have a mountain to climb, and she's gonna climb it.